guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new, I'm The Ordinary Gal. Nice to see you, I hope you stick around my channel and see what piques your fancy and uh, subscribe and like any videos that you enjoyed. Uh, I would really appreciate that, you know, give a girl a chance, do a very simple short video. Um, uh, the number one thing that I've noticed that people compliment me on are my brows. So, um, well, I'm going to show you, you know, how I kind of tame them and how I get my eyebrow look and how I do my eyebrows every single day. <laughs> so interested? Go ahead and keep on watching because today it's all about the brows. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on, I've already got all my face makeup on. I'm going to go ahead and put on my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer first. So yeah, when I was younger, I had the hugest, bushiest unibrow brows that anybody has ever seen. And then when I was about middle school, when I was allowed to you know, tweeze my eyebrows or kind of, you know, have a more defined eyebrow. Um, my sister plucked all my eyebrows off, <laughs> actually. So, yeah, I was one of those people that had to draw in a good majority of the eyebrows. So, nice, um, easy, neutral kind of palette and base on my eyes. And you will see where this comes in play. So in with something that looks a little bit like my eye or my skin tone right here. I'm gonna go in with that one right there. And kind of dab it everywhere. So yeah, I let my eyebrows grow back and grow in and everything like that. And then I um, slowly started to shape them the way I wanted to. And it took me a while, but I got where I needed, where I feel like I needed, you know, doesn't really matter to me um, who likes them and who doesn't. It's just whether, whether I like them. The only thing is like, I'm trying to grow this down right here, as you, as you can see right here. I'm trying to grow it a little bit more down because I feel like they're just too high and there's really nothing I can do about that. Except for try and grow it, so. And my eyes, my eyebrows are still very, very super hairy. So I have to do a lot of maintenance on these bad boys. So there we go. I got a nice base on my eyes. My eyebrows aren't even perfect. I mean, I'm not claiming that they are either. But I still need to um, like try and grow them a little bit more down here and a little bit closer. So when I lift up my eyebrows like this. This one goes way up, and this one doesn't, but if I just lift them up like this, they look fine. <laughs> so, darkening up my, putting a little bit more definition on my crease. So I'm gonna go in with this really pretty color, and I think that one is called Cookie Dough. Right there, very, very pretty. It's just a little bit darker. I'm gonna take it on a, on a tapered brush. And put that right in my crease just to give it a little bit more definition. Okay, do it this side. Just gonna place it right on my crease. And I'm just one to do like a very natural, everyday natural look. And this is pretty much my everyday look. There we go. What I'm going to do is fill in the brows. And I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz right there. And I use mine in dark brown. Of course, you want to get something that is very similar to your hair on your eyebrows. And if you guys can see, like, I do have a lot of, I do not trim or tweeze or anything up here at all. I just let it go the way it goes. 
and I just pretty much take care of this area right here um, and I kind of just you know pluck all the little new hairs away and that's how I just maintain the same shape over you know sometimes it can get you can grow one hair and then it grows too long and then you're like it changes the whole shape of your eyebrows so what I do is I just go in with super light strokes and I mean super light because I know people say super light and then they don't and they think it's super light but it's actually not I mean super light that so light I use this literally every day and it lasts me six months this pencil so I mean super light just little little brush strokes and it's just to fill in the sparseness and and I'll go in and go where those hairs are very light and you can't really see them and that looks a little crazy that's okay because I'm gonna use the brush side and I'm gonna follow the way my hair naturally goes and do that one thing I don't like either is when they look like they've got a tons of product in it. Uh, some people like that look and they go for that look and that's great. That's all good for you. But um, I don't really like that look. I like them to look more natural than anything. So that's what I do. I just very, very lightly, barely touching anything and placing that product in and then trying to comb it around so it looks more like a like it's part of my hair and in the background not that I'm putting marks on my hair but that there's hair like in there's marks incorporated in my hair in the sparseness if you know what I mean okay, I know I have this little bald spot right here so I'll put some right there and then I'll do the same thing up here because you can see the hair that I have around here it's just not thick, so that's what I do. Hopefully my eyebrows will be twins today, or at least neighbors that get along. So yeah, I'll, I'll brush it through and I'll go and shape it the way that my eyebrow is naturally shaped. And of course, if yours not, you're not, you know, is naturally shaped like that, I would suggest that you don't pluck up here that's just my suggestion, I don't know. You can try it and if you don't like it, you know, fucking pluck it down. No biggie. And then I'll just go like this and I do not touch, I do not touch these. I, I let them do whatever they're gonna do, that's what I do. I just leave them. Uh -huh. So, there we go. You know, they look super natural but they look a lot better than before and then i'll go in with my anastasia brow gel this is just like a little hundred point one and i'll just very lightly comb comb over the way i want them to be super super lightly because i don't want it to look like i have gel in my eyebrows um, and then to dry, but I really, really do like it. I think if you can get the, a hair, maybe where there's a little sparseness in your eyebrow, if you can move a hair there and it stays there, then it, that makes a lot of the difference in how it's gonna look, so. So here they are right here. You guys can see them up close and um, you know, how they look. And they still look a little sparse, like I said. I mean, this is my everyday routine and this is how I do it. And to make it a little bit more divine, I will get the lightest color for my brow bone. And I think I'm going to get this color right here, which is going to be glaze. And then I'll also put a little bit of um, candy pearl in it, this one. Just. I feel like this really. You know, kind of defines the brow. A little more. It's light color, I think. And this is not like a new trick, obviously. But I just do that.
and then blend it in. I'll grab the brush that I used before and kind of just blend it in there. And see, I feel like that just really makes a difference there. So that is how I do my everyday brow routine. I liked this, uh, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Please give me a chance and subscribe. Um, I post about once a week, so um, that'll just, you know, notify you when I'm posting a video. <laughs> so if you do enjoy my videos, please go ahead and subscribe. And um, yeah, hit that like button if you liked this eyebrow, like how I do my eyebrows tutorial kind of. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully. Bye